What nonsense is this? Will I call the police? Uh, madam, why are you getting angry? No, what do you need to call the police? I am here. Tell me, where do you want to go? I will drop you at your home. How disrespectful and shameless person you are! At your home with women also you talk like that. You got? How dare you? How dare you talk about my sister and mother? Look, there is no one around, so there is no point in shouting. So listen to me, as I say, and you can go wherever you want in the morning. I am not going to stop you. Hey, I got scared, <laughs> madam. The knife that you have taken out, this is a toy for me. I used to play with this when I was kid. I haven't took this to scare you or to kill you. Okay. So will you cut vegetables? No, not to cut vegetables. I took out to give it to you. Me? I, I didn't understand anything, madam. You didn't understand. I will make you understand. I go office daily. By the way, I reach daily on time at home. But sometimes I have to do over time now responsibilities, so I get late. And by the way, we are girls now. We are always taught since childhood when you will come late at night. Some evil, greedy people will be staring at you with their vulture eyes. What? You called me creep? How dare you? Why? Are you doubtful? Hold this. Have you gone mad or what? Are you seriously giving me this knife? You are all alone on this empty road. Don't you have any fear? 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 Na? I used to na. Afraid in childhood when my mother used to tell me, daughter, when you will go to play, come back before dark. Otherwise, someone will pick you and take you, will kidnap you and take you. People scared me a lot since childhood. So now I'm not scared anymore. I know, know very well. If I will try to run from here, you will catch me. No use of that. So I want before you touch me with your dirty hands. Before that, you kill me. Do you know what I think? You have gone mad. You are talking just nonsense. You have given me this knife to me. Do you want to get yourself killed? Crazy? I am not crazy. I am just saying those girls whom you tease, na, kill them all. Have you come drunk? You are just talking nonsense. Okay, you tell me one thing. Why should I kill a girl like you? Why should I commit a crime? Oh, you know it's a crime to kill someone, but you don't know that. To tease a girl like this, this is also a crime. Okay, we will talk later about crime. Do you know? It's a small fun game for you. For someone, it can be a question of life. How many girls leave their studies? How many girls leave their homes? Because of your cheap and bad tricks. You go at your home and sleep peacefully. Think about those girls. How many months? How many years? They can't sleep because you give them trauma for whole life. They are not able to trust anyone. They are not comfortable in talking after these incidents. It's very small thing for you. You won't lose anything. They can't tell anyone. And if we see our society is so bad that they will only question a girl, they won't question a boy. That's why they are scared of telling, tolerating all this. Remembering all this for life, it's better I will die, and every girl will die before all this. Ah, uh, me. I am this, that, what? I can't even explain you in my words. However, I will try to explain you, but I won't be able to explain you. That this is the worst feeling of this world for a girl. Tomorrow, if it will happen to your sister, if God forbidden, with your daughter, it will happen some day. How you will feel? Do you know? Some girls also commit suicide. After all this, their life gets ended because of your small fun games. What? Why are you so much shocked? Many girls' life becomes hell. So many girls live with suffocation. I don't want to live like that. It's better to live like this. I will die. So kill me now. Okay. By the way, tell me how many girls you tease in a day. Uh, what kind of question is this? Are you tell me now? Uh, 
uh, around four five. Does anyone complains about you, or she answers you back? Uh, none. This work that you are doing, standing on the road, no, you are not going to get any medal for this. You are spoiling girls' life, spoiling yours' life, and your family's life as well. Think. If your mother, your sister, your family will come to know that what is their son is doing here, how they will feel? Uh, no, no, madam. Please don't tell my family. They won't be able to handle it. They don't know that what I'm doing. And whatever you wanted me to explain to me, I understood it very well. And thanks a lot for clarifying everything to me. And I didn't come here willingly. I came here because of my friends. they left my life but i still have my bad habits and madam i am sorry if i caused you any trouble i will forgive you but do you know there are many people like you in our society who tease girls beat them torture them don't know what do they do what kind of people we need we need good people who will bring improvement in our society will make girls feel safer And do you know what is better for you? Focus on your career. Focus on your future because your age na it won't come again and again.